Hello, hello. <coughs> Welcome back. We are here now to watch some Gibraltar. Gibraltar? Gibraltar. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty good. We are now uh, going to be playing on a map that, frankly, I don't think Limestone has really had to deal with very much at all uh, this season. So I don't know, uh, you know what kind of planning or coaching or whatnot uh, that Eastern uh, Kentucky's had. But, you know, I think they might be onto something here uh, it, in terms of, you know, limestone is not accustomed to this kind of uh, area at all, really. You know, I, I, I can't really remember the last time that I've seen them play this. Maybe it was towards the end of last semester on, on stream that we uh, played uh, Gibraltar and... You know, I don't want to mispronounce it to sound like an idiot because I don't play Overwatch a ton. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop saying the name now. I get ahead of it. And, uh, and we'll kind of wait. But I can already kind of get the sense that, you know, we're going to be, see since we're going to be seeing a Widowmaker here, pressing space bar, look at me. Uh, this is going to be a very pick-oriented uh, map. You know, I really haven't had the opportunity to to kind of think about uh, this map very much, but wow, a, a Zathop, Thope, coming out really, really strong with a flying pick. And, and you know, I, I always prefer watching the limestone players, but golly, that was a shot uh, that, you know, you just can't miss. And, you know, e Eastern Kentucky is coming out really, really strong here. And uh, they're finding a lot of ground onto the limestone players and a pause is actually going to come out uh not really sure uh what is causing that or why we're on a pause here oh looks like our internet might have gone out Oh, are we back? We might be back. Um, All right, I think, is the stream still alive? Um, okay, I think the stream is live. It says in stream, so I hope that it is. And uh, we'll still have a three minute delay. I don't really know uh, what's going on here, but um, looks like 
you guys are gonna have to let me know in chat if you can hear me and all that you know just a little bit of a technical check uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh what usually the stream would be seeing just so I can see what that looks like okay so maybe the stream is like kind of working I'm like watching it live right now and I can see everything up before the crash I'll go ahead and wait just to see. I, I we're not quite in game yet, so um, I'll put us on to. I don't, we're just kind of loading. We're in limbo. We're in limbo. I'm interested to see what you guys see, what you guys saw on the the lag end of things because you know I have no real idea what to expect. Huh. Well, I guess the stream like just didn't go down. We just kind of like temporarily tried to reconnect or something. So, okay. Weird, 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 weird. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, I, I guess we're back in the action. I'm just gonna keep talking like nothing changed. Um, and well, sorry for the interruption, everybody. It's kind of a big, a big fuss up here, uh, but we're getting it, we're getting it. All right, so looks like limestone is, where we at here in all of this mess? Graphics are good, okay. Um, looks like we're able to push off uh, Eastern Kentucky on their push. Maybe a pick or two went their way because of the lag. I don't really know. I don't really care too much. You know, it's uh, it's just kind of unlucky. These things happen in esports. You know, we're <laughs> we're living in a world of technology, and sometimes technology can be a little unreliable at times, and we've all got to accept that. So, um, you know, we'll we'll go ahead and see. I think my all my player hotkeys are messed up now. But we do have a tracer for the side of limestone, in addition to the, the pharmacy combo that we're used to seeing coming in from LSM in Tokyo. And, uh, and crying right now. Oh, please. I think the stream is still going. I'm all insecure right now. I'm sorry. Looking for a game to capture. Okay. I think, I think we're back. So I'm just going to keep talking about the game like we are. Uh, LSM and Beetle going to be dropping Eastern Kentucky, taking the advantage. Only Griganoder uh, left standing for the side of Limestone, but he's actually just responding. I guess he was the first one to drop. So uh, we're going to have to take a re reassessment here. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I see what you guys are seeing. Yeah. Okay. We're chilling. Little do you know, we've got it all fixed, I think. So, uh, the first checkpoint has been reached uh, for the side of Eastern Kentucky, but that's a huge ult there from uh, the uh, the side of Limestone on God, a Sigma. Yes, yeah, Sigma. It's a huge Sigma ult. You know, just I, I really love how visual uh, some of these uh, heroes can be, and that ultimate to me is like one of my favorites. You know, I think it's got a, it, it's definitely up there, just in terms of how cool it is being able to. Gra like gravitas bring up an entire enemy team and be like yeah you don't get to go anywhere for a while it's just so cool and it's also so impactful i uh, really really love uh sigma from you know just from a d design standpoint uh or maybe just a cinematic standpoint but we'll see lsm coming out here pumping out damage and as soon as i switch off griganoder he gets a kill onto the uh, enemy support here from uh, on the eastern Michigan side or eastern Kentucky side. Golly, sorry. And uh, Susano is also going to end up dropping. Limestone is having their players fall one after the other, and the payload is now once again on the move for Kentucky. 
and Grigonoder standing his ground, trying to buy as much time for his team as possible. And we do have multiple ultimates prepared for both sides. LSM is going to drop before he can pop his. Tokyo is also going to fall. Beetle is standing up front with Grigonoder, also going to drop. Susano is there alongside his teammates. But golly, and he finds a pick onto the mech there. But is it going to be enough? Uh, for limestone to be able to continue holding this uh, the progress and I'm not sure that it is you know Grigonoder also falling and the payload is just going to continue marching forward and limestone is uh, is going to be chilling so um, or I say chilling the opposite of chilling limestone's going to be sad resurrection coming out here but uh, you know the more that this this uh, payload pushes forward the easier defense gets because um, you know it, it that you're gonna be spawning closer the more players you drop and you know limestone some cog has been thrown on their wheels evidently and they're uh, they're not playing as clean as they had been uh, earlier in this series they are dropping more players and it might just be the map beetle is gonna fall and taking a, a, a lot of damage all at once and we have LSM here once again up in the air. Ultimate prepped. Griganoder playing strong frontline once again on the Sigma. Uh, definitely not one of his favorite heroes, but there's the uh, bomb <laughs> coming out uh, from, golly, what's her name? Oh man, I can't quite remember. Um, but, you know, that is a lethal, lethal ultimate as well. And we're very fortunate to not have any players drop to that. But the payload is still coming forward, and Limestone's HP bars are low. Tokyo going to fall. Griganote are going to fall. That is not what you want to see when you have the payload this close, this dangerous. But LSM having a hero moment, finding three kills. Maybe it's going to be four. That's a godly rocket up in the air. And that is going to be almost a team wipe there. Maybe it is actually a team wipe for Limestone. I thought it was all over after we had dropped our support and our tank and uh, LSM coming in clutch there. We have a one minute and 30 seconds to hold on and uh, to try to stop this push. And you know, otherwise, it, you know, if we can't hold on this push, we've got to do better than them on our chance to push. And that's tough. That's a tough ask. So we'll see if, uh, if anything can be held here. And Susano coming out, finding a pick and we'll see if I can go in on him. He's finding so much damage, but he's also taking a lot in return. Griganoder playing up front and changing his, uh, to Azaria, I think, uh, is the name of that tank. And, uh, you know, this adaptation from Limestone has, I, I think, is appearing to do a lot more work. So much more damage being dealt onto the HP bars of Eastern Kentucky. And here comes the push. And let's go ahead and take a look at Griganoder up on the front line. This is where the middle of the action is. And multiple, multiple players going to be dropping for Eastern Kentucky here. Limestone all on their feet except for Griganoder. LSM up in the air. Maybe another hero moment coming out. Only 25 seconds remain. The payload is so close. That's another pick. He's got ultimate. And Eastern Kentucky is having to back out. They've only got 15 seconds on the clock. If they can't make this third checkpoint come through, uh, you know, it's it, it's going to be real, real hard. You know, it's it's going to be uh, only two checkpoints reached. And I think that's probably what's going to be what it's what's it's going to be because LSM still got ult. Zero seconds remaining. Tokyo is dropped. Susano is dropped. LSM actually falls, unable to use their ultimate. Beetle going in, trying to stop the payload. Overtime going the way of Eastern Kentucky. And is there going to be anything that Limestone can do? There's a Lucio play from Tokyo in there trying to stop it and trying to stall out the overtime. Let's see if I can just get a little bit of an overhead here. Susano going in, dropping, and overtime still going round one complete. Three, uh, three checkpoints secured for Kentucky. Really, really great work, actually. I, I was convinced that it was over. But, hey, they turned it around and they brought it back. Um, you know, they only had a few seconds on the clock, but that speaks to the power of overtime in Overwatch. You know, Overwatch isn't a black and white game, yes or no, you did or you didn't. If you can just have one person on, the, on that... Uh, 
that you know payload you can go you can really draw out the game to the point that you break the enemy team before they can really counteract and you know that's exactly what happened so no time on the clock at all zero seconds remain but so limestone has to get the payload uh pretty much across the finish line uh all three checkpoints before uh you know before the clock runs out at all like i think they can end just with one second and they win so it is a very tough ask here for kentucky uh not easy by any stretch of the imagination so we'll definitely have to see how they, how well they can defend this push and uh and really it's going to be interesting for me to see you know how we're trying to structure this early uh, early attack uh, we did see uh, Kentucky come out with an early Widowmaker, and that was really, really impactful, taking out a, a Limestone player from minute one. So uh, we'll go ahead and see what the strategy here is from Limestone, and it's going to be a dive strat coming in here with the Winston. And, you know, we, we I really, really love seeing this combination here. Winston, Genji, it's so aggressive. It's so in your face, so up front. And, uh, you know, they're just waiting for their opportunity here to dive onto the side of uh, Eastern Kentucky in a well-coordinated one-man mission. Brigganoter goes in saying, I am here. What are you going to do? And he is all up in their face. We're also going to have the Genji from LSM playing so well. So much damage coming out. And that is going to be so many players from Eastern Kentucky falling one after the other. And they are on the run. It's going to be almost a team wipe there for Limestone. The dive strat really, really well executed. And and this is pretty much uh, where we really started uh, now this last game. Uh, Limestone, you know, uh, had some unfortunate issues at the beginning of the last run. Or I guess the, you know, the last earlier part of this map. But here we are. Here we are now, and it's uh, it's looking good. So, uh, well, actually, golly, I look away for like half a second, and all of Limestone is dead. What happened? Holy. Um. Okay. Maybe. Maybe uh, Reaper is nuts. I don't know. Somebody correct me on that. Is Reaper kind of insane? Because to me, it looked like he killed everybody. And I, of course, I'm an awful spectator, so I missed it. But, you know, something happened, and Reaper is OP, question mark? You know, we put it on some YouTube uh, clickbait headlines. Let's see what happens now. Susano and the rest of uh, the Limestone team chase changing their comp up a little bit, uh, getting off of the Winston. The dive strat is no more, and we'll see here. If the Reaper is going to get caught out, he is going to teleport away. And now Limestone is going to have to find a way past this very interesting uh, bit of verticality here on this map you know a very strong defensive point here for the side of eastern kentucky definitely challenging limestone making it hard and lsm is going to fall trying to kind of go up for some damage you know whatever limestone strategy is here they're getting hard stopped and it's not going to work uh so you know they've definitely got to find a way to kind of work this around um but you know nothing nothing has changed so far We'll see if the Genji is still the play for LSM. He is coming up and around. He's trying to be very sneaky, I think, uh, with this approach. He is on the payload, and he's taking a lot of damage. He's down to 55 already. Maybe this Genji pick isn't the way, but we'll see. We'll have to see if anything can change here. The Reaper finds the pick onto Beetle, and that has just been so much damage, so much efficiency coming from it. Tokyo also going to be falling. And uh, Griganator going to be up front taking a lot of damage. But really, both sides have had a lot of players drop. Limestone more than the other, though. And only 45 seconds remain, and the payload hasn't really moved all that much. You know, it's been a very strong uh, defensive angle from uh, Eastern Kentucky. And this is what they have to do if they want to have a shot at this series here. We'll see here some great healing coming out from Kentucky. Genji a little desperate up in the front line. Brigganoter also trying to play up, but he is getting, he's just constantly battling out with this Reaper who has been an absolute menace. Susano dropping, and uh, so does the Reaper. Beetle also having to make the, the, the salty run back here. 
Only a few seconds remain, and it's going to be overtime already. Limestone is struggling to find any traction on this point, but I think they might have found what they needed to be able to at least capture this checkpoint, which would be so clutch. And we'll see here. Uh, Eastern Kentucky is really, really pushing in, and they're going to try it with everything that they've got to stop it. Tokyo is dropped. Limestone's HP bars are so low, and almost all of them are dead. Kentucky is so strong at, on this map so far, and only Susano remains, and you think that that has to be it. This, this map here goes the way of Eastern Kentucky. Azathoth. Azathoth has been kind of nuts this, 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 uh, this series, huh? Oh, dang, bro. Oh, dang, bro. Okay, okay. Go ahead and take a look at the player cams. More serious than ever, as expected. You know, this is a series. And uh, a <clears throat> little bit of context coming into this, uh, this best of five. Limestone is uh, seed number one. They're ranked number one in this uh, division right now. And I believe... I think uh, Eastern Kentucky is ranked eighth. So they are at the bottom of this playoff bracket and limestone's at the top. So this is, it, by all means, expected to be, you know, a very limestone-sided game in the quarterfinals so just simply because of their, their, their seeding, their ranking in the regular season. So, uh, you know, it's kind of surprising here. Like, well, it's the first two maps weren't very surprising to me. You know, I kind of expected limestone to do very well. Um but coming in and seeing them struggle so much. And now, granted, it's not a map that they play a lot, right? Uh, that Gibraltar. 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 Um, they, they don't play it a lot. So maybe, it, maybe it's just a fluke map. I don't know. But it is surprising to me to see them kind of struggle like they did. And we are going to be jumping almost immediately onto this next map because we did kind of have an extended break, let's be honest. Uh, extended pee break. And so I'm excited to be able to kind of get us onto this next map pretty quick. And it's going to be uh, Colosseo, Colosseum, something like that. And it's a push map. Uh, the first of its kind, first of, uh, well, at least in this series. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a push battle for this robot guy right here. Whichever side can push the robot further wins. And early this season, I thought limestone was awful at this but you know recently i've been proved wrong multiple times time and time again we've done a lot better here than i've uh thought or given our players credit for so you know we've got a, se a series on our hands now and we're on a map that i think limestone has improved leaps and bounds on or at least i've heard and i've seen it you know I, they've they've uh, in my opinion struggled a lot on it but you know i think that they're going to be at the very least putting up a good fight here so Let's take a look at the uh, comps here coming out. We have uh, a newer hero coming in from the side of uh, Kentucky. And this guy is lethal. I'm actually not really sure of his name, but I know that he is very, very uh, powerful and a great pick on uh, this map here. So we'll see how both sides end up trying to proceed. LSM always forever faithful to the Pharah. To the pharmacy and uh it's just a lot of damage guys it's just so much damage and you can get you can kind of just look look at the hp bars on both teams and generally speaking in my uh, you know in my opinion kentucky is always going to be riding a little on the lower end when we have this much damage but susano actually finds a way to get taken out there and lsm finds a pick in return but you know this this has not gone the way of limestone at all the robot is pushing against them and Kentucky is having a very successful early attempt at this robot so you know are we witnessing an upset in the making here this is a uh, you know kind of worrisome uh, for the side of limestone the junk rat is going to be trying to deal some damage but you know this kind of damage is really just poke damage it's not super lethal um, trying to keep them low so that the pharmacy can kind of finish them off you know I think that's kind of the angle we're looking at here but the robot has been pushed 37 meters now for the side of Kentucky. And uh, 
Limestone gonna be struggling a little bit to find very much footing. Griganoder gonna be falling, and Susano also gonna be falling. Kentucky is just kind of winning right now, but far the pharmacy is up in the air, and they're gonna be finding a couple picks of their own. And we've seen it again, time and time, where Limestone can be struggling, and this pharmacy just comes out clutch, finding so many picks and being so hard to deal with because it's just taking use, or it makes use of so much space in the air. You know, it, it's really easy. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're a team that is great kind of on one plane, you know, being able to kind of push through very aggressively on the ground, yeah, that's great. But if you forget about the threat in the air, you know, you're going to be running into a whole world of hurt. And I think we've seen that a couple times now where the Pharah has just dealt so much damage where it, it, in fights that I think Limestone have, have, have already been losing. You know, they start losing a fight and the Pharah just cleans it up. And it's just really, really hard to deal with if you're not starting out t with, with the pick on the Pharah, in my opinion here. But we do have Briganoder playing his staple, Aressa, 90% up charge on his ultimate. And we've seen this man be so, so efficient with his ults. And Limestone with the Pharah coming out with a lot of damage here. And, you know, this is advantage Limestone. 46 meters have been scored uh, for the side of Kentucky. But Limestone is now going to be able to match that at the very least. And, you know, we're going to see this robot uh, being pushed now into positive winning territory for Limestone. Six, uh, six and a half minutes on the clock. So we're going to we do have a lot more game left to play here. Uh, and really, it can go either way. Limestone, though, wor worth noting, has one more ultimate than Kentucky does. But that's not saying much. Both sides have a lot of ultimates to use here. And uh, we'll see how that actually ends up playing out. But Susano finds us so much damage. Uh, both the D DPS for the side of Limestone end up dropping. Here comes the revive onto LSM. And I think he's going to be able to to get back just in time. So it was a fairly decent trade there for Kentucky, but the revive difference uh, helps Limestone re retain their footing and keep maintain the pressure with this robot as it's being pushed forward. We'll go ahead and try to cycle through some of our other players here. I, I always feel like I end up gravitating towards the front line a bit too often, uh, but it is a two for two trade here uh, for both teams. Susano going to be doing some good work, some real serious damage. It's amazing how much work those grenades can put in when they're direct hits. And the robot has continued to push. It's 105 meters now uh, past both checkpoints. And Susano going to be dropping. And Limestone, LSM also going to be dropping. So much damage has gone on to the DPS here that, uh, you know, you got to expect a turnaround here for the side of Kentucky. Griganoder, the supports, everyone on Limestone has fallen now. And this is going to give Kentucky a chance to walk the robot back. So much damage <laughs> coming from the, a Farah and a Junkrat just from miles away. It's uncontestable damage uh, that you just kind of have to hope you don't get hit by. And already a very serious battle happening here on the front line. It's looking like Limestone's got the advantage, though. Briganoder finding the great angle onto Arcos. And once again, the robot is now in favor of Limestone walking back to, the, uh, to its earlier checkpoint of 108 meters. And that is dangerously close to a, a victory angle for Limestone, really. It's just on this straightaway here that Limestone has to push this robot. And if they can accomplish that, I mean, that's the whole series. If Limestone wins here, you know, they're on match point. It, that's the series. Done. But if uh, Kentucky finds a way, then, uh, you know, that's it's going to be potentially a reverse sweep. So what we see here is Kentucky actually able to find some really great picks onto the back line and then onto the very front line of Limestone and uh, completely turning around uh, that push attempt there from Limestone. Now, granted, I don't think that Limestone had a really any ultimates prepped, but, uh, you know, it, if Limestone is able to, 
excuse me, successfully push this robot back to its farthest point so far, and then, you know, also do that simultaneously while having ultimates charged, you know, that could be the nail in the coffin, so to speak, for Kentucky. And uh, we're going to see the tire come out from Susano. It's going to be rolling for such a long time. And golly, he's sneaky with it. And I think he does end up dropping. Yeah, he ends up dropping because he's just, like, controlling his thing for too long. But, uh, you know, that still results in a dub for Limestone. And it, there's, there's a lot to be said in esports. Whenever It's almost like a psychological bait. If you are a Junkrat player and you run up towards the enemy team, you duck off to a corner and then you use your ultimate and kind of run away with your ultimate, dodge around with it for a while, the enemy is incentivized to run at you and take you out. So they might behave a little erratically uh, trying to find that angle onto you and, and, other, and kind of just lose the fight because of it. Um, but not really saying that's what exactly would happen. It's just something to, uh, you know, to be mindful of. Um, just from a standpoint of esports psychology. But, you know, Griganoder is up here and he finds three people with his ult. Huge damage potentially going to be coming out, but nothing. <coughs> oh. oh, got a little choked up there. Nothing going to come of it. Um, I would think, right? I thought we lost. I was, I was coughing, looked away from the screen, and I thought we had lost it. But looks like Griganoder somehow find a... Found found a way to stay alive and he is just able to start start heralding a push now with this robot uh, continually forward with LSM up in the air dealing so much damage the robot is thoroughly contested now the May Mr. Kit has fallen and so many low HP bars for the side of Kentucky Limestone is successfully finding a lot of pick angles here and Kentucky's defense is slowly being chipped away. The Reaper is going to have to play back. He's going to have to wait till his teammates have respawned. But Limestone is at the door doorway of victory. And it's going to be hard and interesting to see if it can be stopped. And it is. Azothop. Uh, Azothop has been great. You know, the, in, in, in this entire series. And he's just been the kryptonite to Limestone. Look how close this robot is to finding victory. So, so close. Griganote are going to be battling it out. There's the ultimate coming through, but wait, he found some damage there. He found just enough to make it work, and that's it. GG. Um, wow. Well, I think Limestone was able to end up clutching out the series then and there. Uh, Ramatra, Ramatra it was, uh, it, it is the tank here from Eastern Kentucky. Gonna be taking the play of the game. And I think this was at the very, very beginning as well, when they found such a strong foothold, uh, early on. But, of course, it wasn't quite able, uh, to, to be realized through the rest of the game. So, you know, I, let me go ahead and update the score. Not that it really matters, um... But Limestone able to advance on to the semifinals. So congratulations to Limestone. Um, really happy that the stream didn't completely shut down with that internet issue we had earlier. So, you know, lucky, I guess. But thanks for bearing with me. Uh, you know, I'm Coach Lewis, so casting this game. I'm not an expert at Overwatch by any means, but I enjoy talking about it. So, uh you know, thanks for watching. We've got more quarterfinals coming up tomorrow with Rocket League. We've got two teams in, in quarterfinals. We've got Blue, the varsity, and Gold, the junior varsity, uh, both playing. And I think we will be streaming at least one of them. I think one of them might be happening at 10, so we might not be streaming that one. But uh, we will for sure now have also semifinals happening next week, uh, Monday for Valorant. They won their game this week as well. And Thursday for Overwatch. So let's hope that Limestone takes home another couple trophies this season. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Adios.